Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dragon Durant of the Yasuhito 0088 and we're going to be jumping into another episode of Horizon Exploration, our channel's science fiction tabletop RPG. We are on episode 21.5, so the continuation of last session. Uh, we'll do a quick recap once we get in and after we do our usual party introductions. But yeah, we're going to see how what the continuation is of the choices the party has made and the encounter with this particular group that they've currently run into, or at least uh, planned to bump into. And one of our members, Koji, uh, is going to be running maybe another 20 or 30 minutes late. Uh, they had to get off of work a bit late today, so they'll be hopping in in a little bit. But for the meantime, how about we jump right into it? So, welcome everyone. I hope your weekend has been well, and let's uh, enjoy a little bit of D&D tonight. Alright, let's get down here. We'll go ahead and get the game loaded in and opened up. And for some reason, the game seems to have reset itself. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Let's get the audio... Leave the audio like that, and we'll get the party members in here. All right, is everyone here? Hello. Nope. Nope. How's it going? <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Well, again, Koji will be running a little late, but let's go through a quick round of just hellos from the group. We'll start at the top as we do. Sam Stonewell, played by Peter. Hey, everybody. We got Maxine Beck, played by Sean. How's it going? I'm Sean. I'm also Asbiel, and I'm playing Maxine Dust Patriot Beck. I shoot people. Hell yeah. Caden hmm. Lumen, played by Calvin. I know. I'm playing Caden. I'm not sure I know who I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. You didn't know what this campaign is all about, Caden. And <laughs> Dario Cortez, played by Sergio. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Dario Cortez, your resident ranger of the group. Awesome. All right, we'll jump into a brief little recap as the party had, well, had completed a couple sessions ago their task with the Narrow Trade Company working with Mr. Cooper, dealing with a transaction dispute from Grimes' shop. And, well, they haven't gone back to revisit John yet, who operates Grimes' shop. But they did get on at least a good footing with Mr. Cooper, who is one of the admins of Narrow Trade Company, which lies in the heart of the business district of Fontaine. If I could find my notes here, here we go. Fontaine Business District. So looking a little something like... That's right. They keep, they've changed, they've made several changes to the interface in the latest boundary update. And I still have not quite gone through to convert things to the new format, but yes, the Fontaine business district and within lies the main building of the narrow trade company. As we see here, very contrast from the aesthetics of Fontaine itself, but a powerhouse within Fontaine nonetheless. As the group were, I don't recall exactly what Mr. Cooper, why Mr. Cooper had brought it up, but he had mentioned uh, with their good work that perhaps they could venture on another task for them to intercept a approaching group coming to Fontaine from the east. And the party has decided to go out and tackle that problem, identify who these people are, and possibly uh, the arrangement was that if they are of no threat, then they would be let go and the party would be rewarded 400,000 credits for their effort. Whereas if they turned out to be a threat and the party were to eliminate these individuals, make them not a threat, then they would get 1 million credits in return. 
seemed a bit low. Uh, I think the party had some disagreements with the price after the fact, after they had left the narrow trade company. But before departing, they all had decided to visit a store. I think it was called Electro and Wares, where Sam, you had picked up some EMP grenades, which will cause any sort of electronics to short within a certain radius if thrown. And Dadio had picked up a pair of multifunctional binoculars very high tech had a variety of different vision augments uh, from infrared to thermal and whatnot so and, cool yeah i know right and then you already dropped it and knocked it on the ground <laughs> from <laughs> from if i recall double nat ones back to back when you were uh, sneaking around with it does the uh, manufacturer's warranty still hold good no nah, he didn't pick it up remember <laughs> <I declined it>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he even declined the store's warranty he didn't even join the stores you know membership club <laughs> the, the biggest tragedy of the episode unfortunately really really i mean seymour wasn't showing it on his face but our, our <laughs> little store man was uh broke broken hearted on the inside yeah you don't know this yet but every month you're gonna get some mail and it's gonna ask you if you want to join <laughs> <laughs> oh my god stop dude right now i've been getting like spam mail in my email inbox <laughs> i've been getting these telemarketing calls from like you know suspected spam like how did who got my info who let it out <laughs> i need to nuke them oh well, that's so surprised my bad oh it was you huh? all, right, all right i'll be sending you a package here real soon but the i think the biggest uh spender last session was maxine who picked up you picked up where did i hit where did i put it you picked up a, a ballistic long rifle with all the bells and whistles from a built-in bipod to an enhanced barrel that was advertised to improve the the accuracy and range of the bullet that flies out of it uh, i don't recall did you pick up the suppressor as well yes i did you did yeah and then uh, you also picked up a little side toy which was a uh it was a blade it was a uh, energy blade if i recall yep so yeah, Maxine uh, couldn't say no at the uh, weapons counter, as <laughs> you spent quite a bit of time there looking among the different, different uh, gadgets and goodies. I, I think you guys did pass up on the the heavy flamer that was there, but uh, you know, oh, there was a rail I mean, cannon too, or might, a rail, might, rail gun as might well. Might go back for the rail gun. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but only on Black Friday though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see about that. You got you got a little ways to go for that one. But in the after visiting and completing their little bit of shopping at Electro and Wares, they had departed through the eastern checkpoint of Fontaine and made their way out to intercept this approaching group, which, if I could remember what scene I had placed it on, That's a, that's a fantastic question. Which scene did I place it on? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Source. I must have it embedded somewhere. Hold up. I had some images to share of the group that the party had encountered, which is Let's say bingo here it is all right and let's we've murdered them. <laughs> apparently all right let's pull them in so the spokesperson of this new group albert grald let me actually move these images over as well so you guys can get a good look at them i suppose i have them also available on the desktop here but Albert Grald, who is visually very different from the group, a member of a different race, and his what seems to be kind of a, a right-hand man, or perhaps even a bodyguard, Jado Victor, who doesn't seem to speak much, but he is present and, uh, well, seems to listen to Albert's commands uh, as... 
he had taken a step forward aggressively towards the party one uh, during the last session. We also have the initial individual who the party had spoken with, Alex Ejectom, and another who the party had noticed had a long rifle uh, and seemed to be kind of scouting them out when they had first seen one another. Derek, Derek Zadim. And a female, a prisoner, uh, from the looks of it, who is currently bound, gagged, and being kept under close watch by this new group. A person that was introduced as Saraya. And that is the current five members that of, of this alleged potential threat that the party has been asked to go and determine uh, if they are a threat to the Fontaine city and especially to the narrow trade company where the request had come from. After the group has had made contact and spoken to a couple of these individuals, they did. Uh, let's actually go ahead and move everyone to, over to the playboard. There we go. We'll go ahead and get these images out of the way for now as we adjust the screen. The party, before meeting the group, had gotten to this location before the encounter and parked their vehicle behind a bit of a stone pillar, uh, natural formation out here in the wild, and along the road is where they currently stand as they are currently having a bit of a conversation and albert is had completed a round of introductions for his group the party has done the same upon his request and in actually you know what? in preparation for koji's arrival let me actually get him moved over to this screen as well as he will eventually be joining us tonight go ahead and get him out here we'll put him next to the vehicle for the time being and we'll leave him over here all right so where we left off and where we will be continuing tonight is the party is still again having a bit of conversation and well the party you guys have anything you'd like to kind of talk about amongst yourselves before we jump into it words words things things words words things things very insightful thank you uh, so just this is just between our party. Last time I remember, we are taking them back, right? Rescue, escorting them back. There has been some conversation, and Maxine, I believe, was the one that had shook hands with Albert with an agreement that if they are able to come to this kind of a cordial understanding that, you know, these people are not here to be a threat, they are simply going to Fontaine because they had heard of a great library where they might be able to find some information, maybe find out some more of uh, the whereabouts of some technology that they are here looking for. Uh, the party has deducted that this is a group that came from one of the Abs Corp drop pods. And well, the between Kaden at least, maybe a few of the others had voiced this as well. Uh, there was an offer of, hey, we have a mode of transportation. And perhaps we could help you get to Fontaine a bit quicker. And Albert, uh, although a bit disgruntled uh, after the long exchange, has agreed that it, you know, ask away. And uh, if you agree, if we agree to answer a few of your questions, and as the time out here uh, talking has been a while now, uh, if you guys would help us get to the city faster uh, as you guys are currently delaying their travels and they want to get to the city before night falls then well that is where we stand so yes there is a bit of a an agreement on you guys are potentially discussing bringing this group with you uh back to fontaine um i think we take them we walk them along the road and a couple of us uh, ride the vehicle and maybe call it in and say just one more than we expected. Uh, 
Uh, sure. I have something I'd like to ask first. Is it something uh, aggressive? Should we get ready for battle? Be on guard, but <clears throat> hopefully not. Pull out my uh, hammer. All right. <clears throat> You're all Albert. being watched very carefully as Sam, <laughs> in particular, pulls his <clears throat> hammer out. Yes. Don't mind this one. He is, uh... <laughs> I think what we found is that, uh, maybe wherever he comes from, people are a little bit quick to jump the gun. <clears throat> Your prisoner here, the one you want to bring into the authorities. Do you mind if I ask her a question or two? I'm going to have you give me a persuasion roll. This will be our first roll tonight. Uh, let's see. It's a nine. A nine? Okay. He ponders it for long enough for it to be a bit of an awkward silence between the two groups. This may be possible, but I would not trust anything that comes out of this one's mouth. Trust, no, but unless you're trying to hide something, there should be no harm. Giving me a question or two. He looks over to Jado, the one standing to his right, for a brief moment, and will turn back looking at you all, and will take a step towards the two, or the prisoner, and after a brief gesture, will bring her forth. Moving around to here. And we're going to go ahead and also position her forward with him, keeping an eye here. And he is actually going to take a step back. Actually, you know what? Better yet, this guy is actually going to just take a seat along the side of the road. Still holding his rifle in front of him, but he has kind of slumped down uh, and sat on a rock that is on the side. With that, was... Go ahead. with that, Jack, uh, Alex will unbind the gag around her head while the bindings around her arms will remain and he keeps close, uh, uh, close grip on that and as soon as the bindings around her mouth are removed please please you must help us and quickly jack dom gives her a backhand to shut her up you will not speak until a question is asked and she moves back slowly you see clear disdain in her eyes but the message seems to have gotten across, and uh, she remains silent, looking up to you all with her head slightly lowered. I'm gonna <clears throat> kind of take my time walking around Sam uh, up to uh, Soraya here. <clears throat> and on the way, I'm just gonna say, you're gonna want to think properly. Give it a good think, too, before you answer any questions or decide to speak up on uh, without uh, being prompted. I just kind of make my way down this way 
and up to her. Okay. Now, ma'am, you're, they called you Soraya. I assume that is your name? That is. All right. And they said you killed one of theirs. Is that true as well? She looks like she wants to speak, but her eyes dart in the direction of Albert. It's an easy yes or no. You're dealing with me, not with him. I'm going to have you give me another persuasion roll. That's a 17. Cool. A bit quiet. I... I didn't... No such thing. And she flinches just after she has said her first little bit and no harm has come to her. You cannot trust these people. They are the murderers, not, not me. Can I look at look to see in, I guess, as she's speaking, what Albert is doing? He's simply standing tall and slightly leaned in a posture to, to look at her and Maxine. And Dario, if you give me a perception roll. Oh, while he's doing that, I I'm, I'm, have walked up closer. I am trying as, as best as I can to get a read on her, see if she's being deceitful. Give me an insight roll. And Dado, or <laughs> Dado, Dario, you, uh, what I explained is what you saw. Okay. Only his friends call him Dotto. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 19 on the inside. Maxine, it is a bit difficult to ascertain whether she is being truthful or not. However, with the limited exposure that you've had questioning others, um, you... Maybe it's just uh, kind of the posturing that she's doing being a prisoner or if there's something more to it you certainly feel as though she is not being 100 percent truthful with you and uh <clears throat> miss zariah you uh did anyone board your vessel as far as you're aware uh, where the garb in us, I would describe it as like an onyx gray, blackish color, and a deep red, almost pinkish red, anything like that, on your vessel you came in on? You or anyone else? You are referring to the attire of Anuba Security Recon Division, roughly? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> she looks up to you, lifting her head slightly, seeming to search her thoughts for what you describe, and her brow scrunches together, and she begins to nod or not nod but shake her head slowly uh, from side to side and uh, th th there were a few at the front of our shuttle that were less fortunate uh, crushed I, I I had not seen anyone who had uh, a attire as you describe it And, Albert, you, uh, I mean, you clearly don't like the corporations. Mm, I would not say I do not like the corporations. However, their reputation of several precede them. Oh. Here's what's going to happen. I think... Me and my comrades are 
in line with one another's thinking that uh, <clears throat> we can assist you in getting back to Fontaine and doing so quickly. However, what you all need to understand is that Aurora Green, despite what you see out here, despite how it might feel out here, is a place of just morals. And you're going to accept this fact. You're going to turn over your prisoner to me. I will take her into authorities myself. Mm. And I say this because, all due respect, this isn't how we treat prisoners on Aurora Green. You understand? With that, I'm going to have you make your choice of persuasion or intimidation. And while that is while happening... He's, while he's doing all the discussion, uh, I want to be looking at Jaro. Uh, sure. Can I distinguish if kind of the odd parts about him, if they're like mechanical to certain parts of his body or runs along his entire body? Like... Is it just like augmenting like his eyes or can I see like his hands and the of his neck? Like does it run all the way through his skin? Sure. Um, how would you like to do this? Just by observing or do you have something you'd like to do? Just by observing. Okay. Yeah. Give me a perception roll. Mm. 16. 16. All right. So we'll start uh, with the group here as Alex, uh, with a nod from Alber, goes to rebind the strap around Saraya's mouth and kind of pulls her back with him. Can and I try to contest that? In what way? Uh, I would like to try to grab hold of her. Grab hold of who? Uh, Sarai. How? Uh, probably with my hands. Like, I've, I've seeing him starting to move her away, I want to prevent him from doing that. Okay, so I we'll can. say, like, you can grab, like, her, her arm. Try to keep yeah, her in like place. Yeah, like, grabbing an arm or something. Okay. Give me a... What's your strength modifier? Uh, plus two. Plus two? All right. So... What the two were going to do is Alex was going to pull her back and keep her under watch. And Maxine, as you see Alex making this move, you go to keep them stationary as you reach out and grab Saraya by her arm and kind of keep her there. As initially, see, she seems reluctant to allow... Alex to to take her, but hadn't really made any gesture to prevent it, seeming to be outnumbered and such. But as soon as you go to grab her, she kind of whips her head up to you in a bit of a bit of shock and surprise. Um, her eyes seem to show a, an emotion of perhaps concern, more so than surprise. But you stop, and. Jaro, or not Jaro, um, Albert speaks up. That may be an option as he kind of interlocks his fingers, not fully, just kind of at the, at the tips in front of him. However, out here, she is still our prisoner. Perhaps once we enter Fontaine, per our agreement, if it still holds, then we may hand her over to the authorities, which if you are to claim to be representing representing these authorities, then once we receive such information, then perhaps we will be willing. However, as it stands, you are all still strangers, and we are simply giving 
you the opportunity to we are simply giving you the benefit of the doubt as i believe the saying goes until your identities are confirmed i see little reason to take you for your word we have not been hostile to you why is it that you all seem to be so intent on taking one of our own if i'm honest you don't seem too intent on claiming her as one of your own until it suits this particular predicament i'm gonna glance back to the others and say what uh what would koji do i think we know the answer from that from the car uh, what I would like to do in this moment, uh, turning my attention back, uh, is I want to try to get another hand on her and curl back, rolling onto my back to use my weight to try to throw her over myself. Uh, I'm hearing what would Koji do, I would like to take my hammer and uppercut uh, Jaro. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Uh, before you do that, let me address the perception roll that you had rolled earlier to identify if um, what these augments on Jaro, how, how far they reach. Sam, as this exchange is beginning to heat up between Maxine and the group, and your eyes are kind of observing Jaro and his very stoic posture, uh, you'll notice that, yes, his eyes do appear to be mechanical and augmented in nature. Uh, these markings that traverse up and down where his eyes, down his uh, up his forehead, down his cheeks, uh, though a bit more limited, uh, do appear to also be kind of mechanical in nature. Uh, they seem to be something persistent under his skin. And though at the surface much of his skin is intact, it's difficult to tell just at a glance whether it is encompassing his entire face or if it's just these particular kind of sections and perhaps uh, injury or something it has only exposed them as okay. you look down towards his arms and legs he is fairly heavily clothed he seems to be he's wearing like a leather jacket he has a kind of thick slightly baggy uh like denim looking pants and some very hefty looking boots but you will see like on his hands uh there also appear to be the kind of very similar kind of metallic slightly green glowing uh mechanical material that are exposed where his knuckles are as well as a bit where his uh what's the back side of your hand called just the back side of the hand i don't know but opposite of the palm yeah, back again. Yeah. The so he... side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there is some exposure there. Um, it definitely looks like there is a possibility that uh, it does cover much of his body under the skin. Got it. All right, but with some action from the group, and because you guys are not the only group that have been keeping close watch at what might happen, we are going to roll initiative. I knew it. I knew it. So hopefully all the new updates to the plugins work still, uh, but go ahead and give your initiative a shot. Five. 20. 16. Okay, it looks like... I gotta figure out what the button is for it again. Oh, that's it. I just want everyone to know that I don't know what I'm doing, and Koji's a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, you're, more, I, I, you're more reserved than I was going to be. I was just letting you tell yeah. me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, done something. During Max, you say, what would Koji do? I would, like... Sam would have a, a, a smile and a glitter in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Sam. So good. <laughs> I'd like to cast Finger of Death. <laughs> <laughs> Man, right. Someday. Let me see here. Why is it not rolling for these? Uh, do you need to add them to a turn track first? 
Possibly. Can I just drag him over here? No, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Send it back out. And they're gone. <laughs> there we go. It's like and... a Pokemon when you run. We're just defeating <laughs> yeah. the wall that quick. Man, right. Sam. Nice, nice, nice. All right, and then I gotta... Okay, and then to update for their modifiers. Yeah, you know what? It's not a big deal. I'll leave it. All right. So, as let's see here, Sam, you're going to be reacting a bit late for this advantage turn. Or not advantage turn, this surprise turn. Maxine will go. All of them aren't just confused at what Koji even means. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. You'll see in a moment. But yes, this first round is going to be not turn one, but turn zero as uh, Maxine jumps immediately into action and would like to... You're going to be contesting the grapple with Alex. So let's start off with your little throw, tossing Saraya behind you if you are successful. And uh, yeah, let's give me a, an athletics roll. Mm. Oh, That's a 22. My god. <laughs> Maxine could do no wrong. All right. You got a 22? This is why I'm bad at charisma, because I'm decent at strength. <laughs> <laughs> and yep, I managed to get... You know, roll it one more time to see if you get the nat 20. Because this was sudden and abrupt. All yeah, right. Nat you do manage to rip Saraya out of the hands of Alex as she gets thrown behind you. And being over 20, not only is it behind you, you toss her an extra space right in, at the feet of Dario as she has not been fully gagged yet and it kind of falls loose around her neck. And Dario, all of a sudden, Saraya gets thrown by Maxine over uh, in this kind of, what did you call it? Like a little backward somersault almost? Yep, just kind of rolling on my back to throw my full weight into it. Yep. Now, if you rolled on your back, does that mean you're going to go prone to pull this off? Uh, if I have to. If you have to. The, the goal is to get her away from them, so. You know what? Your That's initiative is back, high enough. Your legs. Yeah, you're, you're not going to move, so as part of your combat round, you'll just stand back up real quick. All in one fluid motion. All right. Now, in the next turn... We are going to see Derex take a shot as he has been keeping a very close eye. And though he has been posturing himself to be less uh, imposing, he has had his hands and eyes ready on you all for any sign of suspicious behavior. And Maxine, you have triggered it as... An act of hostility will trigger a shot from his battle rifle. Out of curiosity, are we supposed to see an initiative counter right now? Because I don't. You uh, click on the carousel button. Yeah, there should be a. The left, right? There's a carousel oh. button on the left, and that should bring up a, a kind of a turn tracker of sorts. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yep. gotcha. I am not 100% sure why. Are you guys able to see what your initiative results were? I see uh, my own. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah well. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it's fine then. All right. But let's see here. He's going to take a shot at Maxine, which will a, what was your AC? 15. It is 15. Okay. Well, that happens to be what he got with his modifier. And you are going to take. As you get shot as a kapoof, rings out from his rifle. <clears throat> Let's see here. We need to roll a... There it is. Yeah. All right, you are going to take five points of damage. 
as a shot rings out and clips you on, I say, we'll say, the shoulder. And next up will be Sam. As you made mention of posturing to take a take a shot at, or a what was it again? A, a swing, like kind of like an uppercut swing. And this was at Jado. Yeah, I would like to just take his head off. <laughs> aim, high, aim high, Sam. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me a roll with your hammer. How do I fight? Here we go. If, if it's low, can it be the sound of a squeaky toy? <laughs> <laughs> ten. A ten. All right. This is not a advantage disadvantage, but make the attack roll one more time. I just want to see if it's above or below your result. Cool. Let's see. Do one more time. Mm. Nineteen okay. on a second. So your ten that you had rolled is not enough to make contact with Jaddle, but with the nineteen. What I'm going to say is your hammer does reach Jado and reaches the underside of his jaw. However, as soon as you make contact, it does no damage as you are suddenly met not with the expected feeling of flesh, but instead a thunk as you get the feedback of hitting a very hard surface and Jado seems unmoving as his eyes and head pushing your hammer down looks down at you um surprised i i shut up guys it's it's a robot no shit <laughs> <laughs> and koji i see you snuck in uh, here at some uh, point uh, hello. welcome welcome hey. dude just in time hey. buddy Ko Koji knows the signal. Gunshot <laughs> means run in and kill everybody. Yeah, oddly. It is good time. Timing. So you should see the kind of the combat map we're working on, do you? Uh, yes, I do. All right, let's go ahead and get you in the combat tracker as well as we begin turn one. All right, uh, am I going last or should I roll initiative? Roll initiative. Yeah. Sick. Though player Koji is late to the, late party, to the party, you still are in the scene, so. Very nice. All right. Koji joining the fray off to the side here. Uh, he is going to be a bit towards the top here. Uh, where can we put you? We'll do it like this for now. But Koji, uh, you were kind of hanging back by the vehicle and you heard the sound of a rifle gunshot ring out nearby and... Uh, well, something has happened, and you're ready for it. So, we're going to start off at the top of our tracker here. As Dario, Saraya has landed at your feet and seems very uh, confused. But we're going to have you, uh, it's your turn. All right. Dario's going to position himself a bit, uh, bit to the side of her to kind of like protect, uh, protect her to my left. And I'm going to use my canister, one of my fog canisters in my in my gun, and I'm gonna shoot out to the direction of I believe his name is Derek's, right? Yep. One over here. That's the one, Derek's. Yeah, so I'm gonna be shooting it in that direction. Okay, that's where you want to position it. Yeah. All right. All right. So you have now created a basically a smoke cloud and All right. Yeah, it's going to block vision for the most part. Cool. All right. Yeah, he's uh looking to his left and right as he Initially thought he avoided this projectile, but all of a sudden a tss, 
begins hissing behind him and he turns around to see a sudden eruption of smoke that is now filling so like a, a Batman battering thing you missed it. did I <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> basically cool anything else and Dario's gonna actually move a little bit more to um ahead again kind of positioning himself diagonally as a protection and uh Dario will end his turn cool all right Caden you're up next Caden that's me okay so let's see where's everyone standing uh... roughly in the same position they were for the last while yes <laughs> okay, so I am. These are regular sized squares, correct? These are regular sized squares this time, yes. <laughs> we are not doing a super zoomed out combat round. Okay, sounds good. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I am going to back up here. Is there any sort of like uh, like rocks or anything on the ground that I could use for my catapult spell? Like something I could just throw at someone? And oh, yeah. Some, yeah, right? of course. Yep. Okay. There, there will be some like pebbles and stones and things that you could find. Around okay, you. so I'm going to do that for my opening. So I'm going to point at a rock and flick my hand towards uh, this guy here in front of Sam. I can't ping. The guy right in front of Sam. You should be able to hold and click depending on what you got your cursor selected to. But Jarl, yeah, Jarl. robot. This guy. Yep. Click and hold. Uh, so I'm going to use catapult and I'm going to throw a rock at him. Catapult. All right. Let's see it. Catapult. All right. So yeah, you'll find an object nearby. It's gonna fly. So if he doesn't, if he doesn't fail, that is no damage. Okay. On a failed save, the object strikes the target and stops moving. When the object strikes something, the object and what it strikes. What does this mean? Oh, on a... So the object itself also takes damage. It's a rock. It, it... Yeah. So That's it could, like, that shatter. Means. Okay, okay. All right. Well, let's see here. He needs to make a DC of 13. Which? Let's say, yep. Find out. Better yet. Um, Kaden, as you launch this object. Oh, don't tell me. He is still eyeballing Sam, but he raises up his right arm and catches it, stopping it, it in its flight. And the object shatters under his grasp and crumbles to the ground. It was a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I tried. You did. Uh, so I'll just back it more and that's kind of my turn. Okay. Every, every round, Sam is thinking about disengaging. <laughs> <laughs> Maxine? Uh, I'm just going to shout, Koji, they shot your friend! And then I want to go to <laughs> high kick uh, Alvar. Just what? a solid boot to the jaw. As all this activity starts to spin around, Alber is, is looking... He's not shocked. He's actually more like his eyes have narrowed and he's uh, quite frustrated but he's about to say something along the lines of like mm, what is the meaning and you go to oh that's an eight fortunately as you go to make your strike he leans back and you strike nothing but air and cutting him off mid sentence he is now visibly upset uh, and then with my bonus action, I would like to do, uh, you know, bringing my foot down. Just want to do a um, uh, Mission Impossible, just a punch reload. And doing that with my prosthetic is going to activate the internal painkiller injection in it. Which was the second wind. Second Were you damaged? Uh, yeah, it took five points. I got shot. Oh, that's right. Derp. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would lie to Koji? Hmm. I mean, I might, but you know. Fucking like better not. <laughs> uh, so, I'm topped up, ready to fight. Let's go. That's it. Okay. Next up is Alex, as he is going to 
Man, this fog cloud, dude, that was a good move. What is he gonna do? He's gonna... <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna rotate completely around. <laughs> posture here trying to get to Saraya and he pulls out a pair of daggers and he is going to make a strike first at Sam as he runs around him Sam your AC is a uh, 16 yes and his first strike will not break past your armor and with his bonus action he will strike okay that will be a net 20 as he gets behind maxine and God that damn. is where the second attack will go fortunately wow. you don't get the bonus damage with the uh, bonus attack but he is still going to get the full dice for his dagger. Mm. Fortunately, it's a dagger, so <laughs> you oh, well, maybe less fortunate. You take eight points of damage from mm. his daggers. All right. All right. So this guy, from what you can tell, seems to be a bit more on the nimble side as he runs around, kind of leaning in a lowered position, lowering his center of gravity. He just zips around the whole group and two quick slashes and that will end his turn next we have saraya who having been thrown on the ground will crawl away from the approaching alex and get behind dario as she begins to stand from her throne position. Which actually, you know, I'm going to give her one point of damage from the throw. Which is uh, pretty minor, but uh, I think appropriate for uh, all of a sudden unexpected. She toss. stabbed you in the back. <laughs> 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 okay, that will end her turn. And then Dedix will go as he will move himself one two three one two three he's gonna posture around back here as he just does a retreat back the way they came to get out of the cloud and he can only really see sam so what he's going to do is he raises his rifle and takes a, a position, but otherwise does not do anything else and will end his turn here. Next up, Albert. As Albert stands there, avoiding the kick, or was it a kick? Uh, for, or the attack yep. from Maxine that he was able to just lean out of the way of. He's frustrated. He, he looks clearly upset, visibly frustrated. Less so in a in a, from a place of contempt, but more from a place of this is a waste of my time. In one hand, this object that he had pulled out, he activates and a beam of energy strikes out from it. A dark purple and red blade of energy Ooh. comes out as it hums and shimmers very very lightsaber inspired but with a, a uh, with a not like a like a cylindrical shape but more of a thin bladed shape is what it uh, appears as he will then cast something as words are uttered in a language that none of you know the language of the demon empire correct what language the language of the demon empire nope that's a negative for me okay 
think yeah. everyone mostly was just common in a few equivalent That's common so. languages. Yep. But all of a sudden, his actions seem crisper, uh, swifter, as he quickly then positions himself here. Not in a sudden blur of movement, but more like he took a step and all of a sudden he was like in the midst of everything. And that will end his turn. And next up, we have Koji. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, Koji is gonna obviously get as close to the or yeah, get as close to the action as he can in this turn. Um, sure. As he's kind of jogging by Caden, mm -hmm. he's gonna um, just kind of almost in a frustrated tone look at him and go, "Who's the most dangerous?" Uh, guy in front of Sam. Guy in front of Sam? Alright. And he's just gonna fucking book it. How did I... Okay. Is there a way to move, like... Is that good? Let's see it's here. 40, 40 feet from where I was, right? More or less. Feet, okay. Okay. Very quick. And I'm going to bonus action rage. Nice. All right. With your rage, we're going to have to get you to give us a... What was it? A D8 roll? Uh, Give me one sec to find the table. It is a D8, is a D8 roll. A D8 roll. Yeah. All right. That is an eight. Okay. With the eight. Let me go ahead and open up. Don't really like how they do roll tables in this environment here. Okay. Uh, Koji, do you remember the sudden kind of shrill sounds that you were getting in the back of your mind when you were in the caves with those insectoids where you had met them. Yes, yes, there yes. Was, there was something tugging at the back of your mind. When you rage this time, uh, Sam, contrary to what you believe, you're not going to see Koji bleeding from his skin and seeing this kind of red appearance take shape around Koji. But instead, every creature within 30 feet of Koji is going to suddenly feel a psychic shrill in the back of their minds and koji i'm gonna have you give me a 1d12 roll all right it's almost and like that is a 12 whoo -whoo, this is a this is a sudden migraine just uh for a brief moment the migraine gets super super tight in the back of your skull and then we'll we'll kind of dissipate but you all flinch including the opponents, and everyone here is going to take 12 points of psychic damage. Jeez. Wow. And Koji, you are going to gain 12 points of temporary health. <laughs> Woo. And Koji, you obviously did not feel that, but as you rage, this burst of unseen energy will, will radiate out of you and cause this in everyone. Now... Caden, are you within 30 feet? No, you are just out of range. So, Caden, as you're kind of watching from a distance, you're going to see suddenly everyone kind of hunch almost as if they got hit with something and like they are shell shocked and they're kind of, a couple of them suddenly their hand goes up to their head. A couple of them just kind of shriek, uh, or not really shriek, but you know, make a sound. Uh, Saraya in particular goes, ah, as she puts uh, a hand above her, like on her skull and kind of falls to one knee. You're all feeling a very similar effect as Koji enters the fray. All right, and I believe that's my turn. All right. Damn. No action? I had to action to get over there. 
Yeah, uh, what what, what dashed, is it? Sprint dashed, yeah. Dash, yeah. Oh, I thought your speed was 40. That would be... That would be... No, it's, it's 30. It, that would be awesome, but no. <laughs> for, for, for a barbarian? Speed increase. He's uh, level... Actually, yeah, what level do you get the extra speed for barbarian? Wasn't it two? Three? It's not Three, four. Right? It's fifth. Oh, it's fifth. Oh, really? I'm, oh yeah, you know, I'm thinking extra right. attack, fast movement. So it is. It. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. Wild. All right. All right. <laughs> in, in GM, sorry. Uh, so that was for everybody, at least minus a uh, Caden that would take twelve points of damage. Is that right? Everybody takes it. Got it. Everybody here except for Caden. Oh, oh okay. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like a bomb over there. <laughs> All right, Sam. Smash. <laughs> Um, quick question, um, on D and D, if I move away, all three of these guys get this. Uh, all three of them zombie? have the potential to do that. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Do I want to die right now? <laughs> Five, ten, ten. Oh, this is a twenty-foot radius. All right, cool. Um having a huge migraine in my head and seeing everyone else buckle and not sure why uh we're gonna do uh, the cartridge of my rom pistol rays of healing <laughs> rays of healing let's go so, it's got like a, a little laser um, pointer that yeah. here's the problem this one is gonna have to have some kind of charge time because the normal spell takes 10 minutes to cast that's gonna be Oh, that's right. A long ass time of just standing there. <laughs> yeah. So that's okay. that's a an out of combat healing spell generally. How about we don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> watching cool, cool, the meter cool. on your gun slowly fill up. Don't yeah. worry, guys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch over to this thing. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's a bonus action. Sick. Okay. Sorry, I'm checking one last thing. <laughs> Alright. Um, action, I'll inject stim on myself. For level 1. So it's 1d8 plus modifier. Okay. Heal. 2 plus... Uh, what's my spell modifier? Where do I see it? Wisdom plus. Wisdom is plus two. Okay. So I heal four, and then um, I look at Dario, and then I'll do a, a healing beam on Dario. Aww. <laughs> oh. You do care. So you get you get <laughs> three. five because three plus two. You're not a complete sociopath. <laughs> All right, I'll just stand my ground. <laughs> All right, heal now, myself five. Another note: I'll, I'm going to let it slide this time. But normally, you cannot cast two spells in one turn unless it's a cantrip is mixed into it. Even though it's action and bonus action. Unfortunately, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, you could do like a bonus spell and then a, a cantrip action, but not an action spell bonus spell oh i didn't know that okay yeah, i believe that's explicit in the rules so that's a yeah. little nuance but uh, again i'll i'll we'll let it slide this turn because uh somebody charged in and psychically screamed everywhere <laughs> all right cool hey hey <laughs> welcome back <Koji. laughs> i went in with a bang yeah all right uh so that was I will end my turn sam and then next up jaro um god how is jaro gonna fuck up all of you right now <laughs> all right Jado is going to go and grab uh, I gotta double check what the rules are for a throw because I believe it is a strength based 
object, but if it's involving another creature, there's some kind of a contest option here, I believe. All right, you know, we're just going to keep it simple. He's going to, he's going to, he wants to walk forward and Sam, you are in the way. So he's going to, as part of his movement, go through you. But as part of that, he is, will attack you as well. And your AC once again was a 16. 16. He got a 17, which is going to connect as he punches you with fists that feel a bit heavier than normal fists do. And this will be a six points of damage as he gives you a little body blow and passes past you as he does so. Does he shove me as well or, or I stay here? No, you, you, you'll you'll just occupy uh, as he kind of walks by you. He's really just trying to get closer towards mm -hmm. this forward position. So Okay. All right, that will end his turn. Oh, and let me actually double check if this is blocking vision. I don't believe it was. Yeah, so with the appearance of Koji, that would actually trigger his reaction, which is going to be a rifle shot at a approaching uh, or a, a newly visible creature. You cannot damage me. <laughs> which you're right as koji is, is sprinting forward a shot rings out from in the distance and a shot whizzes by kind of through the current crowd and right past you koji as it misses all right <laughs> koji doesn't catch the bullet no no <laughs> he, he it with his teeth it actually just bends <laughs> around him <laughs> all right top of the turn order we're back up to dario Okay, so GM, I'm planning to make a, um, I guess a different attack, but I believe my fog cloud is a concentration spell. So with that, I think that's good. If I let's say choose to attack Alex to the north of me here, so, that's going to make the fog cloud go away. Concentration, you can concentrate on one spell at a time. Uh, you could cast a spell that has concentration, just use it for the one turn without dropping the concentra concentration on another spell. However. Thank you for letting me know that's concentration because you, uh, having taken damage, will need to give me a constitution saving throw to make okay. sure that, uh, well, maybe as part of Koji's blast, it, uh, the, the device will malfunction. So we'll, and it's a 10 or higher on, ten. what was it? It was 12 damage. So he had to get a 12 or higher, right? I would be half or no, the half. damage. Okay, so it's a 10. 10. Yeah, so you're fine. Wait, half the damage plus 10? Or, that... No, hold on. Uh, no, half the right. damage or 10. Or 10. Yeah, yeah. So 10, 10 is the roll and you made it, so you're fine. Yep, so Fog Cloud will remain. And Dario, you can okay. you should be fine with your action. So if I uh, attempt to, let's say, attack uh, Alex here, will that make uh, the fog cloud go away at, at that point? Or well, only if you choose to to let it expire. Okay. So I'll go ahead and uh, noticing that um, Alex has positioned himself, yeah, pretty much within all of us in a very, you know, dangerous way. I'm very surprised. Uh, I will go ahead and use my light SMG to to shoot uh, to shoot at him. Hopefully. Hopefully, getting a good shot. Okay. All right, give me one moment. Oh, rolled close to that 20. A 14. A 14. As you go to make a few shots, uh, Alex is actually going to be very quick and nimble and kind of just do a couple of jumps uh, from left to right as your shots just kind of hit the ground around him. It's like the agent uh, from the Matrix. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll position myself again a little bit in front of um, uh, Soraya here, and uh, that it will end his turn. Okay. Caden. Yes. Your turn. So, 
this is frustrating. Okay, I'm not going with the rock this time. I'm going with something less mundane. Try it again. So same guy, uh, robot looking dude. In front of, oh, not in front of Sam, behind Sam now. And we'll try, I don't know if I've used this spell yet, but we're gonna try Chaos Bolt. That seems fitting. So, yeah, it's a very fitting spell for me, actually, yeah. So, uh, he'll pull, like a hand back and like a swirling ball of energy that changes colors will appear in his hand. He's gonna throw it at that guy. Cool. Uh, so... Let me look how this thing would make a ranged spell attack. Attack. Roll. Cool. Shoots off to the moon. You said that was at Jaro? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna need you to make one more attack. Thought <laughs> so. Maybe you hit Alex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, also, roll the D8 for the damage type. I don't see that yet. Four. I rolled two of them. And seven. What would you have picked? Uh. Yeah, 50 50 either. Uh, go with seven, so psychic damage. Psychic. All right. So, yeah, unfortunately, with your nat one, uh, what's going to happen is with the psychic damage, as you go to launch this invisible projectile, you anticipate it to do something, and Caden, you are wildly disappointed as it is uh, soon to be Maxine's turn and nothing seems to happen. That's a correct statement. I am wildly disappointed. <laughs> like getting fireworks and you light the fireworks and it's like the, the... Spell slots and I've done shit all well you're you know oh. it's it's unfortunate rules <laughs> all right anything else you're gonna do uh no no that's uh, <laughs> one of my uh the unfortunate truth of being a caster yeah. oh stop it dude you're getting you're making me cry <laughs> God, I've played too many games where the caster's just like, I cast this and it fails and I do nothing. Yay. <laughs> Yay, D&D. &D. Yay. All right. We're 50% of the way through my spell slots. Oh, no. Don't worry. You're a sorcerer. Just uh, do some sorcery magic stuff. Flip-flop things around. I don't know. All right. Well, Maxine, you're up next. Uh, I would like to take one of these health injectors that we got from our lockers back when we started. Oh, yeah. And hit myself up with one of those with a bonus action according to what I have on my sheet here. Oh, pretty points. good. Not bad, not bad. Points here. Uh, and then just recalling these old movies from this like ancient megacorp i want to draw my energy blade and mm -hmm. activate it okay. and if they let me choose like the rgb on it obviously it would be blue <laughs> sure sure uh so i'm going up against this you know you might say reddish energy blue blade <laughs> with my energy blade uh and i'd like to take an attack at uh Man, that, uh, wait until he reveals that you're he, he's your father. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, now I think you said that was basically like a short sword, which I never added to my sheet yet. Oh, but, that's right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I completely my, zoned. My unarmed strike would be the same dice. So okay, that works. Let's do that for now. Um, yeah, I don't actually, need the daggers. Will this use my? I'll just tell it to use my dexterity briefly, because that's just easier in the moment. Because I don't think it normally does. Uh, would this... Well, flank you, but did we do flanking? We did not do flanking, because if you do flanking for PC or uh, NPCs, they can do it to you is my rule, which... Uh, Fair enough. Generally, <laughs> as soon as I say that, it's like, no, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So that'd be a twice to you to hit for nine damage if it hits. Okay. You absolutely do connect and your energy blade will cut through and make contact with his uh, the side of his body as you kind of slice right through, almost like a, a knife through butter. And he will take nine points of damage. Nice. Good job, Maxine. Uh, that's it for my turn. Okay. 
Cool. All right. Next up is Alex as he. is going to turn towards Koji who ran right up to him in a very imposing way and as soon as he recovers from this little kind of headache that he's dealing with he uh quickly recovers brings his knives to bear and Koji you're gonna get two attacks in your direction as what is your AC? It was a 14. Yes. Okay. First attack is going to miss as you're maybe through the panic or uh, uh, the recovery. It was a bit short and he swings in the air. But the second strike will connect. And the second strike is the bonus strike. So that is only going to deal... Come on. Three points of damage. Is that already halved? What's the because half of part? rage, rage, or is it not? Um. Mm. Mm. I, see I see what you're saying. Yeah, you take yeah. one point yeah. of damage one to of your damage. tempo. Sweet. Oop. You monster. Literally. <laughs> Uh, but as that happens, uh, he's gonna he's gonna look. It's like, Jado, I, I could use some help. All right, and that will end his turn. Actually, you know what? Mm. Yeah, that's gonna end his turn. All right. Saraya is going to get up and kind of continue to back away from the group. Dario, are you going to do anything as she departs your proximity? Uh, looking back, uh, Dario's going to notice. And I think attempting to uh, gonna try to reach out and pull from her to not like to pr prevent her from uh, going too far if I'm able to catch her. So... Here's how we'll do it. I'm going to have you give me an attack roll, almost like an opportunity attack, but instead of trying to injure, you're just trying to prevent her movement, right? Mm -hmm. So it'll be like a, a like a grapple against her AC, basically. Oh, yeah, that's totally not happening. <laughs> <laughs> a, yeah, three. Oh, net, man, our mm, rolls, man. You've been getting 20s. You guys spent all your good rolls the last few sessions, I guess, or a couple. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, you go to try to reach back, but she actually, um, you know, with the net one, I'm going to give you something a little different. As you kind of turn to reach and, and keep her like beside you to keep her safe. She actually, uh, you feel that your hand as you go to reach for her gets um, swatted away. Which causes you to turn your head briefly. And what you're going to realize is that she is no longer bound. And instead she is also like back, back hopping away very nimbly. And for a brief second... You think to yourself, oh shit, because you see her pull out a pistol. Which, Dario, what's your AC? One moment. Is it uh, a 12? 12. Why is it 12? Yeah. Do you have no armor on? I don't believe... Well, I know that we... Because um, your, de yeah. your dex is a plus 2. You should have higher than 12. What is your armor? You have leather? What is it? Where is it? It's got Birkenstocks. <laughs> I don't actually see any yeah, armor on your character. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, not, yeah, not sure if yeah, it's something that happened. We're going to have to add something. I forget what the defaults for rangers are, but at, at minimum, you should have at least, like, leather armor. So it's actually going to be at, at minimum plus one, so it'll be 13. But unfortunately, she still rolled higher than that even. So you are going to get hit with this Damn. pistol as Saraya shoots you, Dario. Shot her from the back. Basically. Mm. What a bitch. Okay, <laughs> everyone dies now. Just decide. <laughs> that is a D8 I have to roll for this one as a... 
little bit of a boom rings out from a direction that some of you who weren't paying attention expected. But uh, Kaden, you observe all of this as well. Mm -hmm. And with her mod, that is going to be two, uh, four points of damage. Okay. Uh, anywhere on the body in particular where it hits? Just in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Met 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 metaphorically and uh, yeah, actually. Exactly. Not and, particularly targeted anywhere. And GM, apologies. Uh, that was four, right? Four. Yep. All right. Very disappointed face on Dario, uh, that Dario expresses as looking. As looking at uh, Sarai as she does that. All right. With that, Dedix is going to continue to rotate. One, two, three, four, five, six to here as he kind of does a little military looking sprint over here with his weapon in front of him. Turns to face in the direction of all of you and... Actually... No, we'll leave him there. He's going to take a shot once again at Maxine. Who he's been kind of keep... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to go towards Maxine. She's the one that initiated, and he has his eyes on her. So, back roll. All right. Um, let me just check the angle here. All right. Dario, as you get surprised and shot from behind, another shot rings out and whizzes in front of you as the shot towards Maxine misses and also does not collide with you as well. Oof. I will end his turn. Next up, Albert, as he once again holding his blade and facing more in the direction of Maxine, but he is continuously uttering words in this entire exchange after his little comment earlier was interrupted and he cast something. He is going to do so once again, as this time, this is going to be a range that will hit all of you. It's going to be two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? It's 20 foot within a selection of my choosing. Okay. And he is equi a, a casting the equivalent of sleep. And Dadio, I actually need you to roll me another constitution save from the gunshot to see if the fog cloud uh, dissipates. Okay. Uh, saving throw? Saving throw, yep. GM, that's gonna be a... Ooh, you got yay. Three. A three, okay, yep. So this fog cloud uh, does begin to dissipate on this turn and will disappear. Cool. All right, now, if I recall correctly, sleep is what he's effectively casting. And with Koji's disgusting temporary health adding to his health bar... And I believe the position he's going to cast it is going to encompass all of you. Albert looks incredibly frustrated at him. As none of you feel the impact of the spell. <laughs> How's it feel, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> now, if I recall, this does not reduce any health points, right? Yeah, because it's just uh, based on whether it meets or exceeds mm -hmm. your health bar. So that will end uh, that spell. However, in the swiftness of his motions, he is going to strike at Maxine with his blade. Pretty sure 22 hits. What was it again? 16? Just a little bit. Yeah. Actually, 15. pretty sure you rolled a 22 earlier too. So, huh. <laughs> take, take that <laughs> alright but... oh, shit I forgot my sneak attack oh you did you did anyway well in the Pretty heat of the moment hits. yes it will hit and he will deal with his long sword or equivalent of a long sword 
uh, that is going to be six points of damage. All right, and that will end his turn. And next up, we have Koji, the Juggernaut. The juggernaut. All right, throwing all caution in the wind, Koji is going to full on Sparta kick um, Alex <laughs> with the intent of knocking him into um, Alber, if that's possible. Okay, we'll see okay. what happens. See what happens. Like a couple um, dominoes? Yeah, yeah, like a couple dominoes. Uh, and with that, I'm going to do the whole good old. Uh... How's this work again? You got a uh, question. You got earplugs or earplugs or headphones by chance, or is it speaker? Uh, I have headphones. And is there a problem? Something's coming through. Then I'm hearing myself. Is that better? Uh, we'll Could find out. Find yeah. Out. yeah. Uh, okay. No, I'm still hearing I'm something hearing on speaker. Something. It sounds like. Huh. That's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out. Figure later. it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That's, a, that's on advantage because of reckless. And that's a twenty-five Ooh. to hit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With the yeah, uh, when that yeah. twenty, we'll go ahead and say that okay, you will connect, connect with connect. your strike. All right. Gonna go ahead and roll damage. Nineteen damage. Ooh. Nineteen. Good hit is gonna max it out. Yep. And. How were you? How were you striking? Was it chest hit? Shot to the chest. It, it was full on Sparta kick. This dude. Oh, the kick. Oh, okay. The kick. Okay. So with the Sparta kick, uh, you're gonna knock the wind completely out of out of Alex as he goes oh, and gets thrown back. Um, I'm gonna have you give me a D20 roll. All right. And that will determine if it impacts. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> That's a nat 20. Okay. So how we'll do this is you will Sparta kick him back. However, as part of it, Albert will also get hit and you're going to knock them both back a space. Ooh, um, sick. Alex is going to be knocked unconscious. Wait, did you say... Did you say Unconscious if you kill or no, you're trying to kill the guy, right? I'm trying to kill the guy. Yeah, yeah so so he <laughs> is unfortunately going to be what was the what was the shortcut key to put the skull mark on them? I forget. Oh. It was uh, a on shift? the Eastern track, there's a button above them. Oh yeah, if you shift and click on it, it'll do the it'll cover the shift icon I think. There we go. Uh... Right click? Shift right click? There it is. Yep. yep. There we go. And as part yep. of that, Koji, as, as part of the kick, you heard, actually, I mean, everyone right there kind of hears like ribs cracking. He coughs up blood as he gets thrown back and impacts into Albert. And Albert uh, is is going to get kind of knocked back, but he quickly recovers and he looks down at Alex, who is now dead in front of him. And yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, and just so you know, if anybody tries to attack me next turn um, because of Reckless, they will get advantage. Yep, thank you. Cool. All right, he is gone. Okay, next up is Sam. As oh you see, boy. this guy get flung right by you. Uh, well, what would Koji do? <laughs> he would Koji kill a guy in a kick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're gonna continue swinging at robot guy. Uh, Seventeen. Hmm. All right. So he's more so kind of in the direction of, of Koji, but you will get a, a nice clean hit on his back. Yeah. Cool. And then I will uh, bonus action. Um. Killing Beam Maxine. Ooh, second level. <laughs> <laughs> Increases by one D four. Okay, so I could I do two D four. Mm -hmm. 
and plus my mod, so six plus two, eight. So maxing heals eight, and then that'll be my turn. Good job, Sam. Doing it. Doing <laughs> healing I things. I love that yeah. support roll. <laughs> Man, I got words about this combat once we're done. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you said towards Maxine, right? Yeah. Maxine, did you apply that? Yep. Totally playing the meta right now. <laughs> All right. And Sam, you're going to stay there? I'm going to stay here. Okay. Next up will be Jaro. Jaro is going to posture in the empty space that has just been made by Koji. <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah, he's 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 uh he's got his fists up. He's he's going at it now. So, let's go. He's going to roll and he will have advantage on his strike towards Koji. And a 19 should connect with your 14. It does. It does, it does indeed. And his attack will Deal. Oh, wrong die. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, five points of damage. And already have uh, two, two damage. damage. Well, is it bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing? This will be bludgeoning. Okay, so it's two damage. Yep. Nice. I'm so used to barbarians always taking bear totem that uh, <laughs> I for you forget that if it's non-magical, you. you Barbarians get it when they rage anyways. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, uh, let's see here. He's going to... Yeah, we're going to we're gonna let him do that. And he's uh, still very stoic in his expression. Not really appearing to be satisfied or displeased with these results. But that will end his turn as we're back up to Dario. Dario noticing that Sar uh, Saraya not only ran away from him and shot him, is going, after kind of in a bit of shock and awe at the moment, he's actually going to run after her, after her, so running south. And he's going to attempt to tackle her. <laughs> okay. To try to take her down. All right, this is going to be kind of a, a grapple to bring her down, so give me yeah. an athletics roll. All right. And she will try to contest 18. it by avoiding it, and she will fail. So you will grapple her and bring her down. Okay. Kind of, it's almost like, you know, when the police have an assailant on the ground, they're kind of like putting yeah. like their weight. Let's say, let's say knee on back. Yeah, sure. we'll specifically. Call it restrained for now. Yeah, restrained for now. And then, um, but still kind of posturing himself towards the um, direction where, where all the rest of the action's happening. And Dario's going to end his turn. Uh, as you do, let me go. I wish to leave. She uh, is struggling and, and trying to, in a panic, communicate to, to let her free. But with that, you said that was it? Uh, he's gonna, I thought he was gonna say, no, it's not your time yet, as he ends his turn. Cool. Alright, Caden. Okay, so, you successfully restrained her, so that was my plan, I'm gonna pass on that now, and I'll go for... Uh, who's in range? Shit. I'll move up a little. How do I do that now? Turn the measuring tape off. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Okay, so is this purple guy holding a weapon? Purple guy is holding a weapon, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go with suggestion. And we'll see if this works. So I'm going to tell him to drop his weapon. Uh, how, uh, it's a sentence, correct? So if I were to correct this, it's just a sentence. Let me just double check this. I'm going to post it in the chat there. Yeah, it's like a sentence or two. I don't think it was... It's not like message where it's like a one-liner. 
Speech, speech, uh, speech. <laughs> <laughs> all my loyal fans. <laughs> and he's going to have to make a wisdom, he's yeah. To be limited to a sentence or two. Okay, so I'm going to say, drop your weapon, sit down, uh, don't fight us. That's all I got. And specifically targeting towards... Purple dude. Purple dude. All right. You will make an attempt to suggest Albert and he is going to make a wisdom saving throw I need to double check a racial thing one second how do the demons get it? elves do Is it whether it works, Kaden, against that? Uh... Well, elves are immune to charm, but demons aren't, and that counts as a charm. So uh... if he's if he's a tiefling, it, it doesn't affect, change it. I think he's a tiefling. If he was an elf, it wouldn't work. Or an eldred. Remind me if anyone remembers off the top of their head. Half elves and elves share right. the same trait, was it? They do. Okay. And variations of elves should also retain it. So no, unfortunately, the charm will fail. He's not an elf, though. He's a tiefling. Okay, whatever. Why did you assume he's a tiefling, though? Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's the third spell that didn't work. Okay. Hey, I'm so useful. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's yeah, canon. Caden's still figuring out what he can do. <laughs> it's like, does this work? Does this work? <laughs> you try to turn your eyes the a different story, color. The, I, the story, like, throwing everything at him and the kitchen sink, you know? Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. uh, this, that. Oh, fuck. That's that. <laughs> advantage, not immune. Yeah. That is... Oh, okay. Okay, so it will still roll then. Okay. Thank you for the notice. Also, why is the tracker... Oh, it's my turn again. No, no, no. There we go. Uh, <laughs> All right. Second. So with a roll of advantage, uh, this is where he will drop the weapon and take oh, a seat. Shit. He's out of the fight for eight hours. Or, or, unless it was <laughs> and we'll make him prone. Ooh, good job, Kate. Nice. All right. Okay, it actually worked. Thank God. And he sits oh, in yeah. uh he sits in a, a pose with um what is it? So so obviously we know what cross leg is. What's that Japanese pose where you put the knees bend your feet under you? Is there a name for that in English? I forget. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I uh, could probably sure. there is a word for it. I don't know it though. Okay. I know in Japanese it's Seiza, but uh in English Kneeling? I don't know. Yeah, I guess it would be kind of like a kneel, but his butt's on his legs, right? So he, mm -hmm. he takes that kind of a pose, takes a seat, places his weapon in front of him, and um, I'm gonna inform us that he's out of the fight. And don't worry about him, guys. He's he's down. Don't worry about him. Focus on everyone else. All right. Next up, we have Maxine. All right. Well, uh, Maxine is gonna go ahead and try to. Stab uh, Jaro in the back with these. That's a seventeen. So, because he's prone, you're gonna have to roll advantage. Jaro, Robo Man. Oh, that guy. Uh, seventeen will connect. Okay. Uh, and that'll be. 10 piercing, I'm going to do a sneak attack because uh, everyone is around this guy. So it'll be an extra 3 damage on top. 13 total. Okay. Uh, and then if I could just pull my survival knife, I don't know if I would be able to do that and also attack all in the same thing because I didn't already have it out. With you a bonus action. probably would have had it in an accessible location, so I'll, I'll let it slide. Um, you whip it out, you want to do like a bonus dagger attack? Yeah. Yep, go for it. 
Uh, to be a 19. That will also connect, yeah. And let's just take the bonus off of this, so one. <laughs> one, all right. Roll of a one. Yeah, and you don't add your bonus, right? So. Yep. Okay, that is an extra one. Cool. All right, that's it for me. Good turn, good turn. Man, all you guys doing work. Okay, uh, let's see here. Next up is Alex, who is uh, gone. <laughs> Saraya is going to try to contest the grapple again. So Dario, give me another athletics roll as she tries to break out of it. Normal. Yep. 18 no. for Dario. You got her pinned down. She's unable to move. She's struggling. Let me go. Let me go. And um, that'll end her turn. Next up. Hmm. Dedex is going to... Back out to here. And he is going to take a shot at... Hmm. Nah, he's gonna take a shot at Sam, being that Sam has been doing some interesting healing thingamabobs. So, unfortunately, as he steps away and continues to back away as he takes a shot, this is gonna go a bit wide and will not connect, and that will end his turn. Next up. Jaro, or not Jaro, oh God, I keep doing that. <laughs> Elder <laughs> is going to make his move, which is still in progress. You suggested you can't do it, right? Well, what was the suggestion? If I recall, it was put your weapon down, sit down, and don't fight us, right? Correct. So you have to stay seated, then you can't fight us, but... The uh, the couple of GMs in the game here need to remind me how they handle suggestion, but if I'm not mistaken, suggestion is only active until the command is completed, right? And if the command wasn't phrased to be ongoing, he could continue doing something? Well, the, yes. One of them was worded continuously. The other one, you could stand up. I didn't tell the Stacy did. And you can pick his weapon up, but he still couldn't fight us. Is that, uh, am I the only one interpreting it the same that as Caden just uh, laid out? Because don't fighting us never gave him an angle of when he could start fighting us. All right. Actually, yeah, I, I know what I'm going to do with him. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I know exactly what I'm going to do now. Okay. As he sits there, uh, in relative silence, you guys are going to notice that the quick manner which he suddenly had taken a seat in, uh, would have ended, but this turn, he is going to continue to mutter something under his breath, and as part of that, in a let's see here oh, uh let's see here where is it circle in 15 feet so everyone here is now going to suddenly feel as though their vision goes completely dark and as part of that those of you who are outside also cannot see within as suddenly from originating from Albert's position, a dark swirling sphere of just black energy begins spiraling and within you are all now shrouded in darkness. And that will end his turn. 
I can't do, deal with that spell yet, so. Okay, that will end his turn. And Koji, all of a sudden your vision goes dark. Uh, I'm gonna just as wildly as po as I possibly can take a big fucking haymaker swing in front of me, which again reckless attack. Okay, so roll regular. One second. So fourteen. A 14. Um, as part of that, that haymaker, you swing in front of you and you hear a clunk in one of your swings, but you're unsure. There's no, uh, there's no sound of, uh, of, in, or what's the word? No, no, no satisfying sound of impact. No satisfying no, sound of impact. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good way to put it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. All right. Fucking bastard. Sam, your vision also just went completely dark. I put my hands in front of my face, trying to grab whatever is in front of me. As I still see nothing, uh, I take my action and I disengage. <laughs> I try to run out of this place. Okay. <laughs> good play, good play. And all of a sudden, from black to white, everything just comes back as soon as you step out of the sphere. And as you look behind you, Again, this kind of swirling, dark cloud of energy just spiraling and spiraling in the sphere in that spot. Um, looking at that, uh, fuck that shit. Uh, I, <laughs> 15. You know what? I'm gonna start charging over to this guy. <laughs> Fancy. His little legs are going quick. He gets out, it's uh, like, wait a minute, you there. <laughs> yeah. You're an enemy. Uh, yeah, so that's my action. I run out and, ooh, bonus actions. Uh, you know what? See him? I'm gonna. This is next hit, right? Next time you hit him, could you upon me? Yeah. Oh, searing smite my hammer. So it gets charged. Okay. And that lasts, I believe, for, yeah, it's a minute. Okay, cool. A minute. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Now I'll end my turn. Very cool. All right, now Jado will make his turn as feeling the impact Koji, he will also take a disadvantage swing forward in that direction. And he will <laughs> uh, also, Koji, you'll probably feel something kind of swipe in front of you, like along your arm, but uh, no satisfying uh, sound of injury. And that will end his turn as we come back to the top with Dario. All right, Dario noticing that she's still struggling and putting up a bit of a fight. Um, having her restraint. Just gonna, kill her. <laughs> he's going to take out his, the, the, take out his SMG and using the back of it, attempt to basically knock her out for, uh, at the back of her head. Okay, let's see it. Uh, what would that be, a GM? Would that be a strength? That's, or... Just give me an attack. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to knock her out, right? That's correct. Yep, so give me an attack roll. Um, you're, she's prone. Oh, sh Oh, no, no, advantage. Yeah, you, you got her pinned down for two turns now, so I'm going to give you advantage on this one. So one more? Yep, one more. <laughs> just a little yeah. better. Oh, no. My guy, my guy. <laughs> All right, you go to you go to strike, but with her flailing, you end up kind of hitting the areas beside, not being able to get a clear hit in, or you hesitate. Who knows? But you, um, yeah, Dario, you're 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 aiming. <laughs> you're taking your time. It's a clusterfuck of a fight. Uh, yeah, I mean, noticing that he's gonna do his best to still kind of. Hopefully he's still kind of hold her down, but sure. Dario's, Dario's going to have to end his turn there. <laughs> oh, okay. man. All right. Caden, uh, you're up. Okay. Uh, who can I see? Just the check, which was restrained. Okay. So you I do hear you from that. within the swirling darkness, uh, Koji, like, yelling. Okay. He is screaming very loudly. Is, what the hell? <laughs> the character should just go. There it is. Okay. 
So, what's my range on this? Let's see, range, range, range. 120 feet. Can I get in range? Uh, oops. This is. I, I don't want this. That's six. That should be 30 feet. Ah, he's in range. I'm gonna try to chaos bolt the guy in the back with the rifle. Okay, let's see it. And he is facing you guys, so. Here's the attack roll. 14. 14. Oh, this is. Is enough to hit. That will strike. Oh, okay. okay. So I got, oops, uh, five and seven, so that's. I'm gonna do psychic damage. Okay. And then the damage is. If you want to see more choice, two. Uh, the creature trade only once by when they cast a spell. How much is the damage? Is it the D8 as well? 2D8, 1D6, right? Uh, choose one. Of... Oh, okay. So the D8s are from what you rolled. And then oh, you need no. to roll an additional 1D6. Ah, heck, I was muted. Yes, that. Okay, so the total damage then is 12, 13. 13. Second damage. All right. That strikes. As Caden, you go to cast this invisible projectile energy bolt again. And brief moment later, you see him suddenly kind of reel as if he got hit with something uh, unseen. And 13 points of damage. Nice. Uh, I'm out of movement, so otherwise I, I stand here. Well, so who's randomly pinging all over the place? Might be me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm seeing like fireworks going off left and right. All right, you're fine. All right, uh, that will end Caden's turn as Maxine. Everything's dark. Yeah, I... I kind of want to get to the car. So I think uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Dario's scuffle and Koji's shouting to try to orient myself. <laughs> nice. And uh, run out this way. Uh, let's see if I... Come in. Okay. Right up to here. Hey, uh, as you're what? moving out, I'm going to have you give me a stealth roll as uh, you are... Actually, what's your, what's your stealth modifier? <laughs> Plus eight. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Never mind. Wow. <laughs> and that is stealth is my specialty. Um I'm gonna bonus action. I thought killing uh, was your specialty. I, yeah. I mean that that too, but this is also. <laughs> uh so I, I want a bonus action dash. Uh and get up to about the uh let's see here. Man, imagine if Maxine learned to wield a Koji. That'd be the universe. Uh, I want to get up to the 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 passenger seat. Okay. Reach in and pull out my new rifle. <laughs> oh. Oh okay. okay. Uh so that's movements, bonus action. We'll say all the exchange will be in it. Yeah, yeah. Um and then if I would still have an action left, uh to dash again. Sure, why not? <laughs> why uh, not? Yeah, why not? Well, what could go wrong? As she circles all the way around. Uh, I'm going to kind of get about there uh, and just start moving around the way to hopefully have a better line of sight from this side. Okay. But I don't think I currently... I mean, I'm, I'm done with all my actions anyway, but I don't even think I could quite get a view on them from here just yet. rogue speed all right and that will end your turn as sure will saraya is going to continue to struggle so dario give me that contesting athletics to keep her down all right that is a 21 for dario and i happen to have gotten a nat 20 this time so oh, wow through your grip she is gonna bolt out of it 
and run away. Would you like to do something? Um, is there an like an opportunity attack to be able to do that? Correct. Okay. Am I able? To... <laughs> Pete. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> am I able to use a trip to try it with my leg to be able to, uh, I guess, knock her down as she's trying to run? You're not going to be able to. to... Oh, I'm trying to think. It's opportunity generally is just the attack. A let me check if there was a well let's see if you, you connect so let's uh if you want to try to make contact with her give me a attack roll that'll be 17. that would be high enough to connect so yeah you would touch as part of the opportunity it's going to be a strength this is a strength based ability yep and this must be from five 3.5 it is from 3.5 i was like that doesn't sound like 5e yeah i don't know uh, 5e i feel like got rid of trip outside of battle master but uh there there is a shove optional rule which can knock people down as well as yes, it's knock them down or push them probably. okay it's an athletics check contested yeah hopefully not to slow her down yeah I'm, I'm just trying to think if uh yeah. if her attempt to escape does that use up the reaction i don't remember It'd use up her action, not her reaction. No, no, her action was to escape and run away. Yeah. But Dadio's contesting, does that require the action or the reaction? Because if it doesn't, then he can do the opportunity, which I'm fine with. I'm trying to think if action replaces one of them. Yeah, because it's an attack action to do the shove. Yeah, the, the 5e rules, as much as I like the simplicity, isn't super nuanced when it comes to all of this. So... Uh, let's see here. With a 17, that will connect. Uh, so... I'm gonna have her contest it. If she mm -hmm. fails it, she will fall. Uh, I'm gonna have her movement and make her go prone again. Which she does. So, okay. you will manage to disrupt her fleeing. She's gonna kind of trip and stumble, and she will fall prone out here instead. So Dar was just bullying her. Pretty much. <laughs> she gets up, you push her right back down. Yeah. She loses her footing. She uh, falls over and... Uh, yeah, Where's that... my lunch money? Where's my lunch money? <laughs> Dang. All right. Next up, we got Derex, who is going to continue after recovering from this weird attack that he just received. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he is going to raise his rifle and take another shot at yeah sam who is approaching so rifle up Ooh, oh nat 20. Oof. God, jesus Man. christ dragon Good job, <laughs> i mean like fourth one tonight? uh it might be like the third apparently but uh you know you guys are you guys are Freaking doing well. So stop. Please, let me have my small little victories, please. <laughs> yeah, we're rolling pretty insane. Guys. You guys are you guys are ruining this combat for me. Go, it's okay. <laughs> they were supposed to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the suggestion in particular, man. Let's see here. Rifle. What we call plot armor. Kind of words that matter, but. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, this is going to be a painful hit, though, uh, because nat 20s are max crit die. And that is going to be a 19. I'm at, okay, so I was at 10. So I'm down to zero. I would have been negative nine. So I'm just, uh, just at zero then, right? You sure are. And this is actually one of? If not the, I don't know. Has that, has someone hit zero yet? The first. Uh... I feel like it might be the first time. Yeah. So, in that case, uh, we do have a special rule that we are using called bleed out. Which let me see here. Did I make a note in the game? I have the races. I have 
I feel like I put it somewhere in the game. Oh, you know what? It was in the PowerPoint that I uh, had, had done at the very beginning of the campaign. But yeah, Bleed Out is very akin to a kind of a homebrewed rule that I had made a while back uh, for D&D, which is I was never a fan of players being down for the count, especially with a series of bad dice. They might be out for like the entire session because they were unconscious, right? So Bleed Out takes similar concepts from that mechanic to allow players to continue fighting, being the protagonist of the story. So rather than falling unconscious, you are now bleeding out. Uh, you continue to fight. However, uh, you do fall prone. So Sam, you will be knocked down to your knees or brought to your knees as this strike pierces through your, we'll say like, uh, like just under maybe like your left lung or something, penetrating through your armor. And uh, Caden, you'll actually see a, uh, a flesh wound suddenly erupt out from behind Sam as this bullet passes right through. So Ow. You don't fall unconscious, but you are now quote unquote bleeding out. Now what bleed out does is you will no roll death saves at the beginning of your turn. And if you fail, that is going to take up your action as you struggle to keep your consciousness. Your movement and bonus actions are going to be available regardless of what happens. And taking damage at zero health points is going to cause you or require you to make another death save immediately. As upon making three plus your con modifier successful saves, you're going to fall unconscious as the exhaustion uh, befalls you and you are no longer able to fight, but you avoid death is the benefit. Uh, on three plus con failed saves, so con is a bit of a modifier to give you some leeway depending on uh, how, I guess, cons how, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? How hardy your character is through constitution, right? Making constitution a bit more of an effective or uh, giving constitution a bit more effectiveness. But three plus con failed saves is going to cause you to die after a period of time if you're not fully safe. So if you're Ooh. caught out, if you, you know, if, so if something happens in the city, you might be able to find a place to heal up and recover and avoid death even in a bad situation. But this is a game about space and planets and sometimes you might be caught in the middle of nowhere. And if not treated within con hours, con again being a value to determine kind of the, the hardiness of your body, it will then lead to death. So, Sam, <laughs> you are prone. You're bleeding out as a flesh wound is now, or not a wound, but a penetration wound is now causing you to bleed from this bullet hole. And that will end his turn. Alber is going to end his turn. And Koji, you're up. All right. Uh, Koji's thought process for this is if he can't see me, or if I can't see him, he can't see me. <laughs> so he's going to full on fucking reckless charge at where the dude was in an attempt to just fucking tackle him. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see a, well, it's going to be a normal roll. Uh, reckless countering the darkness and... Uh, you want it to just be like a strength throw or yep. a strength check? Exactly. It's going to be the same, same darn thing. That's an eight. Not great. And let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, that will not be enough to, to bring him down. Now, with the charge, Koji, I'm actually going to have you position over a couple spaces. All right. Sounds good. Let me actually... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna bump him down for the time being, all right? And you swear you had just run by the guy, but you're not sure. The, the screams get louder <laughs> <laughs> from inside. Koji's just in a rage. All right, Sam, I need you to make a death saving throw. Come on, all right. Sam. You got, you got it, buddy. This, buddy. You got it. And because this might be our first death save, I believe if you go to, where is it? I was going to say, I don't think there is a, oh, here we go, death saves. Aha. Uh -huh. Why am no. I not seeing it? Where are you seeing it? Uh, In attributes, right under resource, it's like death saves, exhaustion, inspiration. Ah, bingo. Yeah, yeah, cool. 
We'll go ahead and give that a roll. Got a 16, baby. Nice. All right. You continue to fight on. You get your action, and you can choose what to do. All right. So I'm going to stand up and lungs pierced. I think take this one out. I'm going to take start walking back. Do I get my full movement? You get your full movement. Yep. Oh, actually, no, because you were prone. You got to spend half to stand up this turn. All right. So I'll stay there and I'll get up. And if I get my action, can I start patching myself up? You sure which can. Which is spare to dying. Okay. You can definitely do that. Let me actually pull up where the other notes are because I think I had amended some information for stabilized like condition. Duct tape my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Bleed out, stabilize. Okay. Stabilize, uh, the way we're handling it is you can stabilize a creature once per day. So this is to prevent stabilize abuse. Um, but what stabilize does is when you use it against a creature that has the bleed out condition, it will remove bleed out once per, per day. So bleed okay. out has been removed as you kind of patch yourself up and remove and patch that wound and the bleed out condition will be, uh, removed unless you get brought down to, uh, zero health again. So because you are currently still at zero health, basically that means if you get hit again, you're likely going to acquire the condition again all right bonus action action i take a swig of my flask uh, um all right i got a second win <laughs> go back in let's go let's go <laughs> and i end my turn you should get immediately shot again yeah probably <laughs> all right Let's see here let me go ahead and zoom this out a little bit for the viewers to see the guy maybe i should have stayed prone <laughs> But you can still, like, fall prone for free, can't you? Like, it doesn't take any movement. I believe it is free. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I got up. It's a lot of work for Sam to get up. <laughs> you gotta use both <laughs> knees. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Jado will move. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna move forward and find himself outside of the darkness as he looks around. He's going to spot somebody uh, in this way as he moves over to Dario. Oh, no. <laughs> and Dario, he will go to attack you. And a 11 is going to miss as Dario, you <sighs> kind of sense something feels off and you turn over just in time to see him kind of walk. He's not running towards you. He's just like casually walking up to you. And, like Mike uh, Myers? <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, basically. <laughs> Mike Miles, that's actually perfect for uh, the vibe here. But yeah, he gets up to you, he goes to swing at you and kind of pummel you into the ground, but you uh, manage to swiftly kind of... What's the word? Duck under and away from it. All right, and that will end his turn as back to the top, Dario. Looking around, um, when I had tackled... Um, when I had uh, tackled Soraya... Uh, I can't, I'm going to look around on the floor. Do I see um, the gun that she shot we with on the ground? On the ground? Mm. Yeah, did it like like flail away, uh, away during the, the scuffle or? With flail mention away. of it. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. Sure. We'll say that there is a pistol on the ground right over here. Okay, so she doesn't have. All right. Still going to run straight ahead towards her and as you try to leave uh jato will try to strike you okay <laughs> and no you're too fast too fast and i will again attempt to attempt to tackle her on the ground to uh, subdue her oh my god this bully <laughs> <laughs> all right she's important she's important to the story I she is her in. She is just full football tackle. I'm hoping, right? Like just shoulder right into the basically. Back. Yeah, she's prone, so you get advantage on your athletics roll as okay. she tries to get out of the way. Oh, not great either way. It's uh, 13. You manage to to kind of jump onto her and pin her back down, and she's not going anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
All right. What are you uh, so, What are you gonna do about big guy though? <laughs> <laughs> I warp, one problem at a time, GM. Yeah. yeah. I, my turn there. <laughs> cool. All right, that'll end your turn, Caden. You're next. Okay, I gotta deal with this big guy. So the one that you can't see. No, no, not him. Other big guy. Other big Over guy. On the right. Oh, that guy. The one. The, the big gun guy. Far away, big guy. <laughs> he's only hundred meters. He's still in range for me. I mean, he probably looks small. <laughs> small oh big guy. Small big guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll like I'll tuck up against this wall here. Oops. I'm hoping like I can like peek around the corners. That's the work. Yeah, sure. And I will try to repeat the same thing I did last time. Last spell slot before I gotta do weird shit. So, attack roll. Ten misses. Probably. That will not connect. Nope. Okay, well that's my turn. As whatever, uh, give me a, give me the, I, I still want to know like what kind of energy or whatever that you're throwing out there because Caden is, uh, is a special boy. Sure. That would be... Fire uh, or psychic, psychic again. again. Oh man, how consistent. You've been getting seven for all, every single use of it. Yeah, three rolls so far I've had psychic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, invisible blast then. All right, cool. No one sees it. <laughs> I just I wave my hands. All Sam sees me like wave my hands towards the guy and then nothing uh, happens. I, I think Sam has more important things <laughs> yeah. on his mind. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm in so much pain. I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't deal with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I'm dying. So no one's there to see me flail my arms. Nope. <laughs> in the air. So. Maxine, your turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to move. <laughs> Well, get about here uh and then i'd like to take a knee and take a shot at this guy yep. oh, baby. as the combat baby. turn is kind of evolving uh, this guy out here Derek, is uh getting ready to turn and turn tail and run it looks like but yeah maxine take a shot yep uh God, uh, this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Fighting with the character sheet. There we go. That's, uh, 25 to hit. Phew. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna hit. Uh, that's gonna be 13 piercing damage. And I will note, Sam's ears are perfectly fine because it's suppressed. Nice. All <laughs> right. Uh, so, Maxine, uh, where did you shoot him? Uh, probably just go in center mass. All right, you go to shoot him center mass, and probably right where his heart is, suddenly a bullet hole erupts from behind as he goes to turn to run, but you know, the shot rings out, and all of a sudden his about to be in a mid sprint becomes a couple steps forward. He falls over dead. Oh. All right. And then uh, I would like to use a bonus section to dash. Okay. Uh, and just scoot down over here. Do you know? Complete the lap around the rock, and just get ready. That'll be it. Hey. Whoa! You guys are kicking their asses, man. Calm down. All right. I don't know how. <laughs> you, <laughs> God damn it! Do you know how? <laughs> All right. Next up is gonna be. Saraya, who, <laughs> as uh, she goes through this back and forth <laughs> with Nadia, y'all, is going to try to get out. So, yeah, give me that contesting roll again, which. Sorry, that was athletics. Athletics. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh, OK. Here we go. Oh, oh, yeah, relax. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Yep. Uh, that's going to impose disadvantage on her attempt to get away next turn. So remind me. And. Okay. That will end her turn as she continues to struggle and cry out and begins to plead to please let her go. That guy is dead. Albert is uh, in the darkness somewhere. And... Uh, let's see here. So yeah, the shot rang out. She's crying out. No, it's going to be this turn. Uh, the darkness 
disappears. Uh, and where you believed Jado to be, whoever is going to be looking for it, uh, well, I guess everyone's kind of distracted at the moment, but if with once the blackness begins to thin out and Koji, you begin to start to see things again around you as you look around wildly, you see you do spot uh, Jado over here, but Albert, the one who was uh, within this dark mass of darkness, is nowhere to be found. And with that, Ooh, it's a dimension door to some shit. Koji, your your turn. Well, now that I can see the metal fucker again, uh, I'm gonna take a couple steps over to him, <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, hit him with a big, big another reckless attack. Ooh. My poor, poor NPCs. <laughs> that is a 30 20. Uh, that will connect. Yeah, let's see it. All right. For a whopping seven damage. Ooh. Um, how do you kill him? Oh, oh shit. Um, Koji, realizing that he can see again, is gonna, like I said, charge towards the dude and, um, Grab him by the back of the head on almost like a reverse clothesline and just smash his head into the ground. All right. You sure do. And you know what? Even better with that roll of it, even if it's a dirty 20, uh, you manage to like dislocate his neck slightly and uh, sparks begin to fly out of his throat as he shuts Fuck. down. Wow. And he is also dead. God damn. Oh, let's go, Koji. <laughs> Now, if I am not mistaken, that is one, two, three, and the pin down Saraya, which, Dario, you are simply trying to restrain her, correct? That's right. All right, I think with that, we will soft end combat. Good job, you guys. Oh, boy. Let's go, God damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, combat over. Why am I seeing 15 feet and 20 feet on the map here? So weird. Uh, might be my my spell, the fog spell. Yeah, that might be it. That's interesting. All right, let's just delete those since we're kind of done now. All right, yeah. Um, the darkness dissipates. Koji runs up and causes this guy to cough up sparks, and his throat kind of tears a bit. And Saraya is still struggling as Dadio, you uh, realize the noise behind you begins to settle, and the guy who was kind of posturing to flee. Uh, just ruined from behind as he falls face first and is out and albert who had taken a seat uh and surrounded himself in this darkness is gone but that includes combat uh i am just gonna say dario the leader's gone and I'm gonna start moving to the car. Dario's gonna uh, use. We'll do the same thing. I'm going towards the car. <laughs> Dario's gonna use some of his uh, some of his rope. Can he and attempt to you know um, tie uh, tie her hands behind her? Okay, sure. Give me a give me a survival roll with advantage. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Very cool. All right, you tie her up. And How much rope do you think, Jim? Maybe five, ten feet of rope? Ten feet, yeah. Okay. You're just kind of like binding her, her wrists together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we'll just go with ten feet just to, to make it secure. All right. Koji will look around for, for a few seconds trying to find the, like, demonic-looking guy. And in that amount of time, I imagine his rage will end and he'll kind of relax a little bit. Sure. Koji, speaking of demonic looking guy, give me a history roll. Now that you're calming Ooh. down, looking around. Also, as you're looking around, give me a perception roll with disadvantage. <laughs> history is a 13 and perception is a 6. Okay. 
As you look around, Koji, um, the only thing that you managed to find is the blade, the energy blade that was deactivated and placed uh, on the ground beside your feet. And you did, you, you believe you kind of recall that he had some kind of an energy weapon. Um, but yeah, you'll find that blade. And with your history roll, 13. Mod's a, is that a minus two on your mod? It is. That's not going to be good enough then. So yeah, um, other than it being kind of like a demonic looking guy, you're a bit, uh, something, something's catching on the back of your mind. Like, wait, that guy, something about it is familiar, but it just at the tip of your tongue. You can't quite grasp it yet. I gotta look fucking weird and I'll pick up the sword. Okay. Could you um, one step closer to being doom guy? <laughs> Dude, I already fear Koji in combat, man. I don't know how to I don't know how to deal with this guy, man. Alright. Good stuff. Okay, so um, Maxine. The last you're... thing that Koji he popped off the head of uh uh the robot guy, right? Yep. Uh, um for for Sam as I like head towards the car, I want to pick up the head. Oh not not back. completely, not completely. No, it's mostly attached still. He just but... he just kind of broke it apart and it like sparked off. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, overexerted it or overstretched or whatever the term is. Overextended, that's what I'm looking for. You still going to try to take a sim? Yeah, you're going to still uh, try to I, take I, it. I no strength. <laughs> I got no strength to do anything. <laughs> I've got like a bite, maybe pick it up. You want me to go and pull this thing? I might die from just exhaustion. <laughs> you want me to rip it off for you? Oh, so uh, speaking of, uh, you might die from exhaustion because you did manage to, uh, remove, um, uh, with the stabilize, you remove the bleeding effect. You're going to be fine. Uh, but in the future for anyone who rolls successfully enough where it kind of stabilizes the wound on its own, if you don't heal within the con hours, that is, you're still gonna, you're still gonna succumb to some penalty. So we'll clarify that as more of it happens in the future, but Damn, you're um, you're doing all right. I, since I can't talk because a bullet went through my throat, I'm just gonna nod at Koji when he asks me that question. All right, <laughs> uh, is that you're just gonna strength roll? Strength check for the ripping off. The yeah, give me a strength <laughs> check. Roll it with advantage because we'll say like this might be like at the tail end of your. Uh... At the twenty. Oh yeah, that's enough. You you kind of rip it off. There's a bit of um like flesh tearing around the outer edges of it but oh boy. on the inside it almost appears to be sparking and breaking apart mechanically and uh, as you guys look within um you will find that this guy does seem to be some kind of a, a mechanoid uh, an android of sorts some kind of robot huh. by the way who the hell were these guys <laughs> oh, he's been absent for most of this house you should <laughs> That's a good question. Um, um, that I, maybe she can answer it. We should find, see if we can find that third guy that got away, though. Oh, yeah, because combat uh, had occurred. I totally forgot about something I was going to provide. But Maxine, as uh, as you're heading back to the vehicle, you get a little blip on your visor for, from the Dynasty Network. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, had, you had submitted a, a requisition for some information on uh, the images of these individuals. And... What returns is a confirmation that these five were dropped together. Um, it does provide you the names, but there is a footnote that says that they cannot divulge information of, of other parties due to potential uh, unfair advantages to the various groups as uh, this is, they're still trying to enforce some form of like an equal opportunity. However, as soon as you're about to dismiss the message from uh, Anubis Security, if I said Abscorp, my bad, um, as soon as you are about to dismiss it, you get an update to it. And there is a new message attached from Mr. Cooper, who is a little, there's a little flag next to his name being, it's like the uh, the mission um, assigner. Uh, what's the word? But there- Administrator? Something like that, yeah. There's uh, the one that made the request, right? There's a word for it, I'm blanking. but. His comment is, uh, terms of reward have been updated. One million per 
eliminated target. Ooh. Ooh. Did and that's all he, that's all he put in there. All right. Uh, I, I just want to stop in at the car, make sure any anything, uh, actually, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just jump in and reverse it back out into the road where we can all see it. Cool. Yeah, you can, uh, you guys all have control over it, so move it to where you want to back up. You don't have to micro your character with it. Okay. And Dario's going to escort her to the uh, to the vehicle. I'm not sure, but the other guy might still be in the area. He probably is. Hopefully we scared the piss out of him. I don't know. Could have just broken line of sight, but... Keep alert. Do we want to look for him, or do we want to just head back with her? Well, he would be an extra million in our... Payday. Well, let's search the local area. I think if if he is nearby, he'll be he'll be if he is gone, he'll be nearby, still somewhere. You guys would probably be better at that than I will. I'll uh, stay with the chick, make sure dude doesn't come back and try to free her. Um. Question also on that Rays of Healing one where it takes 10 minutes. Yeah. Do, does all six people need to be in my target range for 10 minutes or can they just meet me in 10 minutes? Uh, It'd be it'd be once it's activated. So you could like prepare it in 10 minutes and then trigger it. But once you're done preparing, once it's done charging, you'll have to like activate. You can't hold it. But honestly, you're out of combat. So just uh, get people together when you want to use it and say it's going to take 10 minutes and people stay nearby or whatever cool uh when everyone's done searching or whatever i'll cast it yeah so when you guys are all kind of collected together which uh i'm assuming so you are by other maybe vehicles do, maybe do a quick sweep and then if we don't find anything move on what would you yeah, guys uh, like to do with the bodies i think we should take them <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I mean, well, I, yeah. How how would we show the reward? Very least, right? I'm gonna. I'm just, at the very least. I'm gonna photograph with my visor. Okay. Um, but you know, uh, wasn't this a four-hour trip to get out here to meet these guys? I how long is the trip to get out? Been here? in town in four hours. I think we went like halfway. Exactly. Like, so this was like a two-hour trip to to get here. Two out two back yeah we'll call it so, like that. okay so uh, if we take dead bodies it's gonna smell in the car there's a trunk i'm up top i draw some attention when we get into town but i mean could we cover them yeah did we bring like, a blanket or something i'm pretty sure we had some blankets in the back oh, since, got a, uh, a bedroll when we originally left I'm not mistaken. The blankets were traded for fuel. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. Those bastards and their valuable fuel. <laughs> uh, well, I certainly don't have anything like that. We, we have a trunk, right? That is accessible uh, from the back seat. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's we all reached it. So it's like open. Apartment, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's two hours. How bad could it be? <laughs> all right well let's say you guys have all grouped up by the vehicle um yeah let's uh before we wrap up for tonight because we are getting to that time determine uh who's going to be doing a little sweep of the area if that's what you guys i heard that um as far as the bodies go if you're going to take it or leave it i do need to know that as well and uh everyone heals 17 including i'm also including the the prisoner prisoner too very cool all right we okay to do that now, Jim? Yep, yep. Go ahead and do that now. We're just gonna. Uh, so, as far as the bodies go, I would say take them, and I will message Mr. Cooper to 
make sure we can get into town without problems. And if he messages me back and says we don't need him, we just toss him up aside while we're driving. Uh, okay. Otherwise, I want to be on the search team to look for this guy. I think uh, Dario with his, his new purchase would be helpful. Oh. Uh, I'm going to hang back with the chick and be as imposing as possible. I'll just get both of my rifles and use both scopes like binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I did hear that you guys are collecting the bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then how long are you, you guys going to be looking for this guy? Um, I guess give me an idea what you guys are doing, how you're doing it, and I'll make you guys roll to see what you find. Um, uh, I, I was going to say, I'm not sure, uh, like, I would want to look to see if there's any footsteps or footprints from, like, where initially we saw this um, cloud. I don't know if in a specific direction, maybe there would be some way to see where he would have went off. That's something I would try to do. That he okay. would try to do. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Dario, you're going to be heading back to where the fighting was. And Maxine. And sorry, Maxine, if I interrupt you. No, I think uh, I think my, especially in this kind of situation, would be try to get uh, a vantage point and just scan. Cool. So probably may maybe this rock that you wanted to try to scale or somebody wanted to scale this thing up here. I, I think I thought about it at, at the start of the fight, or or before the fight rather, not at sure. the start of the fight. Well, but if you're gonna if like... you're gonna try to get some some height advantage, go ahead and give me a a, a uh, athletics to climb, I believe it was, and then Dadio give me a perception to try to find uh, where the body may have been and if there's any steps around it or near it or leading to it or from it. Uh, nine. Least... Sixteen. I'm climbing. Okay. Uh, let's see here. 16. Yeah, Maxine, you're going to be able to get up there. Also, give me a perception roll. Dadio, as you, with your nine, look around. Um, you are going to struggle to find any form of... of proper, I guess... Yeah, what's the phrase? Trying to single out... Hold up. Trying to, trying to single out his position is a bit difficult because the ground here has all just been kicked up. Um, may or may not have to do with Koji running around in the same general's area. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing haymakers everywhere. Yeah, basically. Um, I'm going to have you give me one more, though. And Maxine, as you look kind of farther and in the surrounding areas for anyone potentially who, uh, who still might be out there, you're not going to see any sign of people uh, nearby. Uh, looking off to the west, you're going to see Fontaine way out in the distance. Uh, looking far to the east through your scope, you do seem to see a bit of a, um, a reflection, like way down the road. Like, very, very far. Like, oh God, I don't even know. Like, several thousand feet away. Uh, there seems to be something metallic alongside the side of the road that's reflecting against the the uh, light surface. And, uh, or the light rays. And, Dadio, with that second roll, no. That's mm -hmm. not going to be any better. So, you're none the wiser. Um, kind of uh, disappointed not finding anything. I do recall that um, looking around in this direction, there was the the gun that um, Saraya had um, lost in the fight. Yeah. So I'd like to I'd like to go at least pick that up. Okay. So make sure to add a heavy energy pistol. There's okay. uh, the heavy pistol in the items list, and then you just uh, convert the damage to to energy type. Okay. Effectively, our version of magical. And Maxine, anything yes. else you'd like to do while you're still up there? Um, 
I'm just gonna start making my way down. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna do like a, since my hands are gonna be busy getting down probably, just do a quick voice to text, uh, try to get in contact with Mr. Cooper through the, the uh, Omni device. And just let him know that we have uh, three threats that we've dealt with. And that we've identified uh, Albert Gerald as a potential a, a potential problem for Dynasty that escaped through the use of some sort of uh, demon empire trickery. <laughs> okay, that's appropriate. Cool. Uh, by the time you get back to the vehicle, you'll get a message back from Cooper stating that uh, message received. Um, did you include the photos as well, or? Uh, yeah, include the photos and just a, a, a note saying that we can bring in the bodies if necessary. Gotcha. Um, you will get a response from Cooper uh, stating that the bodies are not necessary. They don't need any Ooh, any good. any unnecessary biomaterial back in the city. So just uh, toss them to the side of the road if you have to, or find uh, bury them if you are so inclined. But um, almost immediately after reading that message, you will find that there was a transaction sent to your dynasty account for three million. All right. I'll start working out how to split that amongst the crew. Um, and nearing the group, I'm, I, I just want to throw out the question. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it in my notes because maybe it'll lead into a longer discussion. Which is? Uh, the the idea that uh, this robo guy is kind of interesting and maybe he could be useful. Mm. Yeah, I think but, that is well, a... Like, throwing out to the group that we don't need the bodies but this guy might be worth something in some w one way or another where the other bodies uh, of the humanoids are bleeding with the exception of the wound around his neck where there's like this kind of sludgy blue liquid kind of very viscous it's uh, kind of slowly oozing from the torn neck <laughs> where Koji ripped its head off but uh, otherwise, it's not making a huge mess, and uh, it is it is there. But I think that is a great place to stop as we conclude tonight's episode of Horizon Exploration 21.5, wrapping up the exchange between the party and their encounter with Albert Gruld and the others in his party. Yay! Nice. Ooh. Relatively hey, successful. David. Very nice. Okay, Very we nice. didn't die. You didn't yeah. die yet. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was happy to get to use the new rifle, but also happy I got to try some of the other equipment I have. Hell yeah, <laughs> man. You guys made good work of uh all sorts of situations tonight. I did good punch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you punch uh, good. I waved my hand semi effectively. Man, when I went to go do the uh the sleep equivalent and I realized, wait a minute, Koji has like 42 health with that temporary right now. That's uh, that's not going <laughs> to yeah. do anything. <laughs> it was fucking ridiculous, dude. Oh my god. But I think... Koji doesn't know how to sleep. Yeah. Honestly, I think Koji's uh, rage mechanic has been quite fun. Same. Same. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's been good. And and Sam is, uh, man, actually being a healer? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing is, so like, uh, before this fight, I prepared uh, Zone of Silence. And then, uh, the, well, one of the uh, Albert guy started like chanting. I was like, man, I should use this. And I was like, hmm, I'm going to go do other things first. And he like <laughs> chants again. And I'm like, hmm, I should use this. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no I'm, I'm dying. I need to heal people. <laughs> yeah, that this might have gone very differently had that happened. Yeah. But frankly, speaking of things that happened, man, that suggestion really, uh, really uh put a wrench in things for me yeah, I don't good know. Job, Kaden. Yeah. <laughs> better, but yeah. no joke and seeing maxine Kaden. being the master marksman freaking shooting across the map bullet holes in a guy's back finish him <laughs> off man typical marksman the crazy thing was maxine literally ran back to the truck swapped out the weapon came back and then shot the guy in one go right oh man <laughs> Listen, 
for for all the questionable issues with Dynasty, they've got good training. <laughs> and, and I don't know. Do we want to talk about Dario's uh, woman abuse? <laughs> yeah, I don't I think we can leave Dario and uh, and her in the same room. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Who knows? This might be the the beginning of a budding D and D relationship. Who knows? Yeah, I, I very I much that line. <laughs> How did you guys meet? Uh, she tried to kill me. <laughs> yeah. That's all love stories all began. Yeah. <laughs> Took a shot on my back, you know. <laughs> nice, but very good job, guys. How'd you, what'd you think of the fight? It was good. Been, yeah. I think we've been needing a good fight. Koji, I think there's Hell a yeah. good variety with what the enemies are doing. Yeah, very fun, very fun. All right, everyone. You know, like getting tackled. Like getting what? Like getting tackled. Oh, yeah, right? No, no joke. <laughs> Cool, but I think this is where we'll wrap it up. We're pushing on our three hours. So once again, thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, we should be good next week. I didn't hear anyone letting me know that there is going to be conflict. So uh, check the, again, YouTube reminders for the announcement for the next episode, 22. And uh, this will be the party likely heading back to Fontaine, maybe meeting with Mr. Cooper, maybe going to the library maybe learning about what the hell this weird demon looking guy was and uh what he's all about who knows we'll find out next time on horizon exploration so with that have a good night everybody and we'll see you next time and until then as always take it easy bye everyone good night guys Peace. Good one. Yeah.